On day six, I was staying with Alan and Lori Bundy in uh, Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. One of the many interesting things I found out about Alan is that he raises budgerigars, which are actually an Australian bird, but you've seen them before in the pet store, probably referred to as a parakeet. Alan happens to have more than 100 of them at a birdhouse in his backyard. He's actually been breeding them for the past eight years and also showing them. It's pretty successful. Well, hello, guys. Come on out. Make yourself at home. This is a sky blue normal, meaning that it has barring all the way down its back. And there's another type of bird that doesn't carry that marking. It's called an opaline budgerigar. This is a guy that I'm getting ready for a show. I can see he's been fighting with somebody. He's got a quill there that's bloody. I like this guy because he's got good spots. I mean, if we pulled spots out here, you would really start to see how big that spot is. You know, at the show, they're, they're judging for shape, size, and deportment. So, uh, let's see if I can get him to stand here. <laughs> you can tell the condition by the way the feather looks, also by the color of the sear. The sear. That blue area above the beak. Oh, okay. You can tell the difference between a male and female by the color of the sear. A male will have a blue sear, and a female will have a brown sear. There have been some breeders that brought in birds from Switzerland and uh, weren't paying attention and stepped on a bird. You know, a $1,500 bird, it's a lot of money. This is uh, one of my uh, best Texas clear bodies, got really good markings. Placed seventh at a national show in Wisconsin in 2011. So he's a 2009 bird, he's getting a little older. I'm probably gonna retire him. He's done really well for me on the show bench. Just a really nice guy. So now why is it that you're spraying the birds? There's a gland back there that they actually will preen their feather. It's like a wax, just like on a duck. And what it does is makes the feather shiny. And it's actually, it takes about a week or two and they'll start to beat up. So when I spray them, the water will just run off, just like wax on a car. See how he likes it? Some of them just like it. You like it, don't you? How can we tell if they're fertile? If you look at the egg, see that you can see the yolk there, right in the center? If that was fertile, it would start with a blood vein around that circle. And then eventually the veins just start going around the outside of the egg. But none of these are fertile. What's up, guys? What's the problem in the bedroom? That's right. Come on, buddy. I'm, I have high hopes for you. 